Okay, these are my four containers, each holding about two ounces of liquid soap, which isn't very much, but I'm hoping it's enough to give me an idea of which of these thickeners is going to work. Okay, so I have different thickeners. I have some xanthan gum, Crothix, and I'm making a salt water solution and a borax solution. So we'll try each one of those out. Um, I just need to fragrance these liquid soap and see if my fragrance makes it cloudy. Okay, these are the four containers I'm working with. I have added the um, fragrance oil and I've gotten it fairly clear. Now because these are sitting out a little bit and getting the air on top of them, they are getting a little bit of skin because the water, I try to keep it as thick as possible through dilution. But if you were doing this in a bottle, you would want to do your You'd want to keep it in your crock pot while it's cooling after diluting it and then tackle the fragrancing right away and the thickening as soon as you could, keeping the lid on it to keep the air from the top and then as soon as you could bottle it so you'd keep that skin from forming. But since I'm doing an experiment, I just have to kind of scrape the skin away so we don't get little floaties in there. But um, I have my salt water solution made. I am cooking my borax, which is too high right now. So I have a borax solution going. You need to boil borax for it to dissolve. I have a container for my xanthan gum and I have a bottle of liquid Crothix. So we're going to get started. Okay, we're going to start using some borax solution. I'm going to use a pipette to pour in a little bit of the uh, borax solution, which I had boiling in a kettle on the stove. That's the borax solution. I'm going to put a little bit in there and give it a stir. Here's the consistency now. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very bubbly. But I wish I had a tripod. It is thickening up a bit. Let's try a little bit more. I try putting about one milliliter to two ounces. Now every solution is going to be different, probably depending on the oils and the fragrance oil you used. Another milliliter. Thickening up a little bit. And also that the um, it's got bubbles in it, so it's a little hard to see. I don't know if you can see that. Mixing that in there. See the consistency of that. And you can see how it's still a bit runny for my taste. Put a little bit more in there. We've got a little skin forming on the borax now. It, as soon as it starts cooling down. It tries to crystallize again. It's hard to keep in solution unless it's boiling hot. Alright, well, it's not too bad. And you can see the consistency there. Still a bit runny for me. But it might thicken up a little bit as it cools. The borax I pulled in there was pretty hot. But it is staying fairly clear. I mean, it's got a lot of bubbles in it, but once the bubbles go away, it'll be pretty clear. Now we're going to head into the salt water solution. I'm going to show you what salt water does when you add it. I don't know if you can see, and the camera's not very good, but it turns the solution white initially because of the chemical reaction, which I'm not 100% sure what that is. I've heard a couple theories. I'm not sure which one's accurate. But some people say that that is sodium from the table salt reacting with the potassium hydroxide in solution or something related to potassium is pretty much just replacing the potassium and turning it into sodium form of the hydroxide. So you have a little bit of sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Now, I'm not sure if that's accurate, but that's something I've heard. It's thickening up a little bit, not very much. Now some of this has to do with my formulation, I'm sure, and it's also starting to cloud up my solution, so I'm not going to add any more. It is a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can tell. It's hard, I know. It's not very much in there. But thickness-wise, maybe that's thick enough for some folks, but I don't really like it that drippy. Salt water there. I'll let it sit for a bit and see if the clouding goes away while I practice on another type of thickener. Let's try the Crothix 
Now this is my bottle of Crofix. I'm going to add about one gram to my two ounce solution. I was going to try and use a pipette, but this stuff's way too thick. So I'm just going to try and pour it in carefully. Because you want to add, there you go, that's plenty. You need to add about, according to the directions for where I got this stuff, to thicken, you can use up to 8% from the solution. And I figured 8% would be a bit much. And actually, I just used 2%, and it's crazy thick. That's awesome. Now, let me show this to you. This might be my solution for myself. Um, I know most people don't like to use um, man-made things or derivatives, but if you really want a thick, thick bath gel or bath soap without using the alcohol method of making liquid soap, this is probably your best bet. I mean, look how thick and viscous that is. It's crazy. Look how thick that is. I know. Not holding the camera very well. Let me see if I can demonstrate how thick that is. Here's a spoonful. Look how gloppy that is. I actually really like that consistency. It's very bubbly right now, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit for the bubbliness to calm down. But in my opinion, that's that's the consistency I want when I was making it with the um, salt water stuff. Kind of almost a little taffy-like. But I like that consistency for a bath gel bath wash. Alright, next I want to try xanthan gum. This takes a little bit of setup to do because you need to mix it. This is my xanthan gum jar. You need to mix the xanthan gum in room temperature distilled water and you need to mix it with a mixer very quickly and then you need to put it very quickly into your solution. So I need to prepare my xanthan gum and I might not be able to show me actually pouring it into my solution but I will do the best I can. Well, that's the consistency of my xanthan gum mixture, and it didn't really do much for my soap. It's really runny, but maybe it'll set up over time. But at this point, right now, the winner of my thickening contest, in my opinion, is the Crofix. I mean, look at that stuff. Awesome! Everything else is very runny. Um, oh, wait a minute. The borax has thickened up a bit but it seems to have crystallized within the mixture, which is kind of gross. I don't need it to be crystallized, but it has thickened up a bit. So maybe next time if I use less borax so it doesn't crystallize, it might stay in solution. So anybody who wants to try and play around with borax, it looks like that might be a possibility. Um, it's thick now, but it is cloudy, because like I said, the borax seems to have crystallized in order to stay in solution. But the Crothix is pretty clear. Do a good shot of this. The Crothix fix is pretty clear. The only thing that's in there is bubbles. A lot of little tiny bubbles. So it'll probably take a few days of setting out for the bubbles to all dissipate. And have a nice clear thick soap. And to be honest, I don't think I even really need it that thick. I used about 2%, 1.5 to 2% of Crothix to the solution. Probably need about 1. So... I will try only one next time, leave it sit and see if I need to add more. But isn't that awesome? I love it. Love it. Okay, let's check out the salt water. Salt water has been sitting for a little while. And it's not very thick and it's gotten cloudy. Which is what I found out a lot with all of my salt water solutions I try to use. It's gotten very cloudy. So I don't think I'm a huge fan of the salt water solution. Um, maybe I will try it again when I make 100% Castile liquid soap for like a baby wash. But right now for regular grown-ups, grown-up wash, I am sticking with Crofix for now. It's a derivative of stearic acid, which a lot of people use stearic acid anyway 
for making lotion, so it shouldn't be that bad for folks. And you use such a low percentage of it, it's not any worse than using a fragrance oil, in my opinion. So anyway, that is what I've discovered. I may try the xanthan gum again another day and see if I can make maybe a thicker solution to start off with. But right now it's really runny. So, but that's what I found out through my little mini experiment. And I may do this again at some time just to retest my results, which is all the point of science and experimentation. Look how crystallized that got. That's really nasty. Look at that. That's the borax. It's gotten crystallized and crunchy. So, crystallized and crunchy. So, I'm not a fan of borax. That. Okay. That's it.